Hello everyone, my name is Alina. I hold a master level degree in linguistics and I've been preparing students for IELTS since 2013, enabling them to achieve at least band 7 on IELTS. And in this video, we will describe the line graph that we have here. A line graph which shows a change over a particular period of Time. So let's get the ball rolling. So first of all, to score high on IELTS, you need to understand what the examiners are looking for. And most probably you already know that it's a wide range of vocabulary, wide range of grammar, which corresponds to a particular level. Let's say B2 uh, level or upper intermediate level. That's usually corresponds to band 6. Um, advanced corresponds to band 7 and proficiency corresponds to band 8 and proficiency plus to band 9. But this is only talking about a range of vocabulary and range of grammar. These are not the only aspects which are evaluated. In fact, they make up only 50 percent of your score and the other 50 percent comes from coherence cohesion how well your writing is organized how well the sentences are connected how well you achieve the task how well you complete the requirements of the task and this is very important so here we have a line graph this is task one and task one always requires you to describe main trends to provide support for those main trends and to meaning that you need to provide examples the structure of your uh, writing is actually not defined by examiners, but it should be logical, meaning there should be an introduction. There should be at least two body paragraphs, and each body paragraph needs to have a topic sentence and supporting ideas. So let's see how to do it when we have a graph description, in our case, a line graph description. So once again, take a look at it carefully. So so first of all, you need to see what it shows. So it shows the number of cell phone subscribers over a certain period of time. So what do we see here overall? That the number of male subscribers increased and the number of female subscribers also increased. If you just compare don't don't notice this small uh, decline at the towards the end of the period. What uh, we need to compare first and foremost is the number of subscribers at the beginning of the period and the number of subscribers at the end of the period. So if we compare the number of subscribers at the beginning of the period and the number of the subscribers at the end of the period, we will see that the demand for cell phone service increased over the given period among both men and women. And this is what you need to write in your introduction. The first sentence in your introduction is just the paraphrase of the task. Preferably, you need to paraphrase the words that are given in the task. But if you can't, keep them as they are, at least paraphrase the structure of the sentence. Here we have cell phone subscribers. So they are subscribers to what? They are subscribers to mobile network operators or they are subscribers to wireless carriers. Mobile network operators are also called wireless carriers so you can use any of them so overall we can write in the first sentence the line graph shows the number of subscribers to 
wireless carriers from and you need to name the first and the last year given in the graph. You can also paraphrase if you don't want to use from 1995 to 2015 or you believe that it's boring. You can say over the period of 20 years. So for example, the graph, the line graph shows the number of subscribers to mobile network operators over the course of 20 years. And then you can also specify if you want, just put a comma and say from 1995 to 2015. Here it's up to you. The second sentence is the main difference, the main change that happened. Always, if you have a period of time, you need to notice what changed if you compare the first year and the last year of the period. So here, our main idea is that overall, the demand for cell phones increased over the given period among both men and women. And this is our introduction. That's all that we need to write in the introduction. Now we need to identify two main key features. One key feature will be in the body one and the second key feature in the body two. In a graph, when you have the breakdown by gender, it's very easy with the key features. One paragraph will be about men in our case and the second paragraph will be about women. So let's start with the first paragraph. We'll just choose men for the first paragraph. And again, what's the main trend for men? Again, the number of male users increased over the period of time. And this is our key feature for the first paragraph. So we have, so over the given period, the number of men using cell phones or cell phone service increased significantly, right? So here to modify period, you can use the number of years that this period encompasses. So in our case, it's 20 years. So you can either write over the period of 20 years, the number of male users increased significantly. Now, you can take this phrase over the period of 20 years and turn this into an adjective over a 20 hyphen year period. Notice that here year is singular because now it's not 20 years, it's an adjective now. It's a 20 year period. So we say a period of 15 years, a period of 20 years, but a 15 year period, a 20 year period. So over a 20 year period, the number of male users increased significantly. Here you can paraphrase again, increased, we already used it. Um, you can also use a significant increase is a surge. So, and the verb would be to surge. So the number of male users surged over the given 15 year period. Now we have our key feature. We said that the number of male users surged or increased significantly. How can we prove it? Of course, by comparing the beginning and the end of the period. But let's do it in a very detailed way. Let's first cover the first 10 year period. A 10 year period is also a decade. A decade is a 10 year period. So now we'll first describe this first decade. So while at the beginning of 1995, there were only 500 men who owned a SIM card 
Yeah, own as people who own the SIM card is the same as cell phone users. I just don't want to repeat the same vocabulary cell phone uses, cell phone uses all the time. So I will use this time the number of men who owned a SIM card. And here there were only 500 men who owned the SIM card. Always in graphs, you will not have exact numbers they will do it on purpose so that you can use words like they were roughly 500 men they were nearly 500 men they were just above 500 men or they were approximately 500 men or just under 500 men this is done on purpose you rarely will see exact numbers in your graphs it will be just nearly just approximately so that you can show the examiner so that you have this opportunity to use these words and to show the examiner that you know how to do it because that's actually in real life setting when you present data during a presentation or uh, when writing your research paper it's very common and in real life they are also very frequently used therefore examiners want to know that you are prepared for an academic setting or you are prepared for a, an employment setting and they expect to see these words so we will write um, while at the beginning of 1995 roughly there were roughly 500 men who owned a sim card or only roughly 500 men owned a sim card their number look here we have their number increased five times in just a decade right to increase five times means to quintuple. So if you have something that increased twice, you have you can say to double, to increase twice. For example, from 500 to 1,000, to double. From 500 to 1,500, 1,500, that would be to triple, to increase three times, to triple. To increase four times is to quad ruple quadruple to increase four times from 500 to 2000 for example right to increase five times like we have from 500 to 2500 then to quintuple quintuple so while there were only roughly 500 men who owned the sim card at the beginning of the period this number queen tuppled in just a decade queen tuppled in just a decade and if you are aiming at band six you can just put a full stop here and continue with the next sentence already so overall you would have while at the beginning of 1995 only roughly 500 men owned a sim card this number queen tuppled in just a decade full stop but if you're aiming at band 7 and above, you need to continue this sentence. You can show a bit more of the complexity. And remember also, especially if you're aiming for band 7 and above, you always need to make comparisons. Even if you are describing only the trend for men, you need to compare it was women and here you have a perfect opportunity because at this point when the number of male subscribers reached 2500 it became equal to the number of female subscribers and this you do need to mention right so with 2500 men and an equal number of women subscribing to cell phone service now let's provide some more details. So following that comma, we can see that after the search, the number of male subscribers remained unchanged or remained stable, or you can also use stagnated. So following that, the number of male users stagnated stagnated for five years or you can say for the period of five years or for the span of five years however after that look 
the number continued to grow again. So following that, the number of male users stagnated for the span of five years before continuing its growth or before resuming its growth. However, look here, the growth was not so rapid, was not so fast anymore. So I can say at a much slower pace or at a much more moderate pace and reaching its peak of approximately 2700, right, in 2015. So this should be enough for one body paragraph. Now in the second paragraph we will describe the main trend for female users. Remember if you have a line graph and it shows the change over a given period of time, all you need to identify the main change or the main trend is to look at the beginning and the end of the period and compare them. This is your main key feature, your main trend for uh, this particular line graph. So once again, if we are looking at the number of female subscribers, we can also see that their numbers increased significantly. This is what we will write. Similarly, there was a clear upward trend. You have a downward trend and you have an upward trend. So similarly, there was a clear upward trend in the number of women subscribing to mobile service over the given period of time. You can put a full stop if you want here, especially if you are aiming at band 6, that's perfectly enough. Yet if you want to expand this sentence and if you are aiming at band 7 and above, you can specify here, put a comma and say, yet the change was not as significant as the change for men. And here we don't want to repeat twice change change so i will say yet the change was not as significant as that for men right or yet the change was much less significant as that for men or yet the change was less profound as that for men that is a pronoun which replaces the noun change again here so that we don't have the repetition change change so the change yet the change was not as profound as that for men and now we need to provide supporting details once again take a look at the graph and see if you can identify what supporting details we can provide so now we just need to support this idea. We can simply say here that over the given period, the number of female users increased four times or quadrupled. So indeed, over the period in question, the number of female users quadrupled. And you can add the numbers here from and to. If you wish, but it's not necessary. So now let's also notice a very important change here and make an important comparison. Look, if you look closely at the beginning of the period, the number of female users was a bit higher than the number of male users. However, at the end of the period, look what happened. Men were much more likely to own a SIM card than women. And this is called the gender gap. So you can say the gender gap widened. If the opposite is the case, then the gender gap narrowed. So the gender gap narrowed or the gender gap widened, as in our case. It's really worth mentioning and the examiners are looking for these important differences, changes and comparisons. So let's mention it. While at the beginning of the given period, slightly more women than men owned a SIM card or subscribed to a mobile service, these 
trend changed, or simply this changed after two thousand five, when the number of female subscribers began to decline or began to decrease steadily. Right, so began to decrease steadily. Steadily means that it wasn't a rapid decline, but it was a steady, slow decline. So it began to decrease steadily, and as a result, you can mention here we want to mention the gap, right? As a result, the gender gap. Between male and female users widened, with women being eighteen percent less likely to use mobile service than men. Right here, if you don't want to calculate the percentage, you can simply say with. Women being much less likely. If you don't have time, or you are not really good at math, but here it's very the numbers that you have. They are very easy for you to calculate. But if you don't have time, you don't want to calculate, then you can simply say with women being much less likely to use mobile service than men. So now, if you are aiming at band eight and above, there is a very good expression, which is a churn rate. A churn rate is the rate at which subscribers unsubscribe from the service. So this is basically an attrition rate for subscribers. So here, then, as of two thousand five, the churn rate among women increased because the churn rate is the rate at which you. Lose subscribers, right? So they they unsubscribed from the service, so the churn rate increased. So this is what you can write instead of the last two sentences. You can say, as of two thousand five, the churn rate among women increased. This means that by after reaching the peak of two thousand five hundred subscribers, or having reached. The peak of two thousand five hundred subscribers, right? By having reached the peak of two thousand five hundred female subscribers, so the number of female subscribers began to decline steadily. So, having reached two thousand five hundred, the number of female subscribers began to decline or decrease steadily. Right, and as a result, the gender gap in mobile phone use widened. Right, which translated a very very good phrase, which translated into five hundred less women than men having access to mobile service at the end of the given period. But again, remember that this is for、uh, band band eight and above. So if you're aiming at band six, band seven, you don't need to use churn rate. It's not something that is even expected. Churn rate is really C two vocabulary, so you're not expected to know that. It, there is no special terminology、uh, from a particular field that you are expected to use on IELTS. Just general English, general vocabulary of different levels B two, C one, and C two. So don't make particular efforts to remember churn rate if. It's not something that you want or can use on the exam. Now I will show you how you can make a conclusion. However, a conclusion in task one is not necessary. It's not a part of the task, and you will not be penalized if you don't have a conclusion. Provided that you have highlighted key features, you have given relative examples, you have made relevant comparisons, and you have done this logically. So basically, you've done body one, like introduction, and two paragraphs. This should be fine. But if you want to show the wide range of vocabulary and a wide range of grammar, then you can paraphrase once again your key features. And to group them all in one sentence using 
different vocabulary. So for example, here I could write to conclude. Mobile or while mobile connectivity was spreading quickly in Mary's well, it was not spreading equally with women being less likely to use mobile technology than men at the end of the period or in 2015. So once again, here I paraphrased two main ideas that yes, the number of cell phone users of both genders increased over the given period of time in Marysville. However, men were much more likely to own a SIM card than women at the end of the given period, meaning that mobile connectivity spread quickly, but not equally, that there was a gender gap. So now try to write this line graph description or another line graph description and share it with me in the comment section below. And I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.